Hey guys, Mighty Green Giant here, and uh, today I'm going to be teaching you all a little something about command blocks. Uh, so they're a little difficult, kind of a little bit of programming aspect to them, but I'm going to try to go from uh, basically as basic as possible as I can, and then kind of work you up to some of the more difficult stuff, as well as some of the newer stuff like the scoreboard system. Uh, and wow, with the scoreboard system, there's a lot that you can do. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so here we have the command block. Uh, and this is what it looks like. Oop. This is what it looks like for all of you who've never seen one. Uh, it is not possible. To, it's not in the creative menu. You can search here, command, nothing comes up. Uh, to actually get the block, what you have to do is, let's put this back in here. Uh, I didn't want that to stack, but thank you though. What you have to do is backslash give your name. My Minecraft name is Hester45, and then the block ID is 137. So, and then however many you want, if you're in creative, you really only need one. And you can only actually edit them in creative, so um, that's how you get them. So now we're going to move on. Uh, this is a little area I've set up. Green is going to be the most easy, or the easiest, I guess, to kind of understand and use. Yellow, uh, a little more difficult, and red is probably the hardest stuff that's eligible to be done with a command block right now in vanilla. There is more stuff, but... Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Where do we want to start? We'll start over here. So I have some signs set up to help me remember. Uh, so the most basic command, or the most used, I guess, would be the is the give command. Uh, so first I'll give you a little structure of how a command block command works. What you have to do is you do backslash, and then you can do give, you can do tell, you can do XP, you can be test for, there's a ton of them that you can do, but this one is backslash give, so that means whatever block ID I give the play, I give, I want to give the player, is what it will do, at P means at the nearest player, you can see all the ones you can use right here, uh, you can also do a player's name, so if you're designing a map for yourself, you can just do your Minecraft name and it'll give it to you, and then the block ID right here, 133, that's for an emerald block, and then the quantity right after that, which is one. So if I hit this right in here, it gives me one in row block. And you can see down there uh, in the lower area, it will uh, give me the block. It says like the block ID and all that jazz. Uh, so next we have the tell command. And this just is basically like sending a message to somebody if that's what you want to do. Or you can send it to the whole server. Anything like that. This is really helpful for servers. So I have to say go away when I hit the button. And whispers to you go away uh there is a way to make the it have a name um i'm not quite sure how you do that but nonetheless that is how uh the tell command works next we have the game mode command game mode one uh which is creative and then at the nearest player which is me so if i hit this uh set game mode to creative mode your game mode has been updated is what the server tells me um and then effect uh, this is like potion effects, uh, anything like that. So you do invisibility, you can do all that jazz. Uh, so I believe this one is, yes, this is strength, and it gave it to me for five seconds. So with this one, I do the backslash effect at P. You guys got that down already. Uh, and then we have five, which is the effect ID, which is five means strength. I'm not familiar with all the strength, all the potion IDs. I was unable to find a complete list, but if I do... Uh, or as soon as I do, it will be in the description. Uh, and then next we have the intensity. So if you wanted uh, strength 5 or something like that, that's where you put that in. Uh, and then five is, and then the last 5 is the duration. So if I change this to 10, and then go out of here, hit that, I should now have it for 10 seconds. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Got that one mixed up. This is the uh, ID for the effect. This is the time. That's the strength. Uh, and then next we have the enchant. So we'll need to get what, uh, what I'm enchanting. And uh, just in the FYI, with the enchant command, whatever you want to have enchanted has to be in the com in the uh, like hot bar of the player. So you can see, like I'm scrolling through. I have to be on the diamond chest plate if that is what I want to. Um, enchant. So here you see backslash enchant at P, uh, and then enchantment zero, which is protection, level four, which is the next number. Uh, and I actually do have a list of those enchantments. I will put that list in the description for you to check out in case you want to use it. 
Uh, and then now if I hit this, it'll say chanting succeeded in your chat menu and diamond chest plate with protection four. So that one's pretty simple. So now we are at the back or at the XP command, which this can give or take levels. Um, and it can also test for levels too, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, so backslash XP 150 L that means 150 levels. So not 150, I guess units of experience there. It's 150 levels. So I will be level 150 as soon as I hit this button. So see, given 150 levels to Hester 45. And then if I want to take those away or any number of them away, I just put a negative in front and boom, I have no more levels. So that's how that works. That's very helpful. If you want to set up an item shop with vanilla on your server, you say this much XP for this item so you could I'll kind of tell you how to do that in just a second a little more and finally the teleport command which is backslash TP you got to do X Y and Z coordinates and as soon as you hit that it sends the closest player to those coordinates all right so next we'll go on to uh, a little bit cooler stuff I guess this kind of modifies um, the statements so they kind of do a little more so let me just go and show you these uh, these two, are, these first two are pretty related. There's, because uh, you can see here, just like the one I previously did with the give, except this time after the at p, you see l m equals ten. Now that's going to mean level minimum equal to ten. So if the person that is that clicks this button, like right now, if I click it, nothing happens. But if I go over here, yep, whoop, falling down places. Oh my god. All right, if I go over here and take 150 levels for myself, like a ding, delete that, and give myself 15 levels. And now I'm level 15. So now if I go over here and hit this button, it will give me iron bars. Why I made it give me iron bars, I don't really know. I just kind of picked a random block ID. So now we have level max. So this will, like, let's say you don't want to give... Like, you only want to give stuff to new players, so you only give a wooden sword to a player at the maximum level of 5. Um, so this one is actually at 10. So give at P, and then this one is just L equal to 10. And then 105 is item ID, 1 is quantity, as you all already know. Um, so now if I hit this, it's not going to give me anything. But if I do backslash XP minus 10 L... Let's do 45. It took 10 levels. Now when I click this, it gives me a... Uh, whoop, that's glitched. A pumpkin stem, apparently. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why I chose that. That's kind of odd. But next we have radius check and game rules. And by the way, there are more modifiers in this. There's a lot more. I'll put a link to the wiki page in the description where I found these. Uh, and well, well, I guess where I initially learned about these. And you'll be able to see all the stuff you can modify with. This is just kind of the general template that you have to go through. I'd <laughs> be a really long video if I went through every single one. Uh, and these are just some of the most useful. So this one is backslash effect at player. And then this is radius equal to 3. So I have to be within 3 blocks of the command block. Not of where I trigger it. Of the command block. And if I am, if that statement it comes out true, then it will give me the effect 5 for 50 seconds. So now when I click this, given strength ID for 50 seconds, now if I go back here, it won't it won't say anything. But see, if I were up here, it'd give me it again. See, so I'm out of a 3 block radius, so you have 1, 2, 3, and then here I'm on the 4th, and nothing. So that's really helpful. Uh, and you can also do uh, another version of that. You can do uh, radi radius minimum. So they have to be out of at least, like they can't be within that radius. So if I did RM equal to 3, I believe it's RM if I remember correctly. So now if I'm right here, it won't give me anything. But when I get over here, it gives me it. See? So... That's just if you want to keep them out of an area or something like that, you can do, uh, you can actually do TP out of the area uh, if they get within that radius, and you could just have that command block constantly on. So now we'll move on to game rules. Um, I, not a ton of people are familiar with game rules. Uh, it's things that you can set, such as, you know, fire, so turn off fire spread, turn on fire spread. Uh, there's just so many of them. Uh, oop, whoop, 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 now I'm hopping. Oh god, just decided to pop me everywhere so 
here we go. We're back and we're on the game rule here. Uh, so this is uh, game rules are just stuff like I said, like fire uh, spread, uh, command block output, which is whether or not you know how you saw that little text saying G gave command to gave something to player. Uh, this will actually turn that on or off. So you do backslash game rule, and then you have to know the name of the game rule. I'll have a link to those in the description as well. Man, there's going to be a lot of links in the description. Command block output. So that is saying do not, So since there's false after it, you have to put true or false at the end. Uh, so if I put false, whenever I hit this button, you will not see anything happen, basically. <laughs> but now if I come over to this, I will get the block of emerald, but it won't tell me that it gave me the block of emerald. So now if I change this back to true, and hit done, and then it says game rule has been updated. Which means it's saying, okay, yeah, now we'll tell you what we did with the command block. So next we are doing uh, players within radius. This is all of these type names. Uh, I could do actually at A, which would be all of them. So effect at players, uh, or sorry, this is at random. Uh, at, play, at random player within the radius of 10, give them that effect and everything. If I had another person here, you would see it'd be random which of us got it. Uh, but if I click that here, it will give me instant health. So I don't have a health bar, but that's kind of that. So now probably what you guys have been waiting for, uh, the scoreboard system. Uh, this is, I really like this. I pretty much got it all the way down. Uh, so if you guys do have any questions, if you're trying to implement it on a map or something, uh, feel free to message me or leave a comment and I'll try to help you as best as I can. Um, so here we will start. Uh, we have... This is just how you, the first few of these are just how you get a, how you get the scoreboard system set up. So this first one is backslash scoreboard. That's how all scoreboard commands start with backslash scoreboard. And then we have teams add and then red. So that means backslash scoreboard. So it's telling it to call the scoreboard, add a team and call them red. And you, and you do have to be case sensitive, I believe. I don't, haven't checked, but, uh, so I called it team red. So as soon as I hit this button, it created Team Red. Now you won't see really anything that it created the team. You just have to take my word for it. You'll see in just a second that it did. Uh, and then here it says scoreboard teams join red at P. So that is join this person to the team. And then the person it's going to be is at the closest player. And that's red is the team. So it goes command team person. So if I hit this, it says added one players to team red colon Hester 45. So it, it added me to red team. So if I had somebody else here that wanted to be on blue team, I could do a separate command block that said add them to blue team and we could battle. Uh, so now we have backslash scoreboard objective. So, so with every how the scoreboard kind of works is you have to have a team, you have to have people on the team, and then you have to have an objective for them to do. There's a few different objectives. You can have total death. Uh, you can have total kills. You can have um, there's like there's two versions of kills. There's one kills pl uh, kill player kills, and then there's one mob and player kills. What I did was uh, total kills, so that means mobs and players. So here we see backslash these these commands do get a little long. Backslash scoreboards objectives add, and then you have to give it an internal name. So this one is not what you see. This kills right here is not what you'll see on my little sidebar. So kills, that's what it'll be called anytime I need to put it on another command block. And then this is the, what I want it to count. So I want it to say total kill count, and that's how many kills I get of mobs and players. And then name it kills. So that's where you do the proper name. Like if you want to call it uh, Chinese fire drill, you could do that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so I do that, and it says added new objective, kills successfully. So that means, yes, we bait it for you. Um, and now this is where you actually get to see the kills of the, each player. So I'll do backslash scoreboard objectives set display. So that's this this whole piece up to the end of set display is a command. And then this sidebar means where you want it. You can do sidebar, you can do below name. And I believe you can also do it in the chat or something like that. And then... So that's where I want it is on the sidebar, which will be right over here. And then I'm telling it to put that kills objective that we made on this command block in that display. So now when I do this, I have to have a kill and then it'll show up. So let me grab some zombies here. Grab a few zombie eggs. And throw them down here. 
Yeah, come on, damn baby. See, there you go. Now it says, Hester 45 kills equal to one. Or actually three, because I killed three zombies. So, yeah. So it'll just keep that counted. Uh, and the more kills I get, the more it'll go up and all that good stuff. So next, we have um, reset. Uh, at backslash scoreboard players reset at player. So this one, click it, removes all my scores. So... If you like, if you're doing a map and you say, "All right, well, I want this to open when they get to this many levels," and then it does, but then they die. When you they die, you can make them stand on a pressure plate or just be in a radius and have their scoreboard cleared. So that's what that would do. So see, now I have no, the scoreboard is still there. So like, if I go get a kill right now, I don't have to go back and hit that scoreboard button. It's still there. It's just hidden because I don't. It doesn't have anything to show for me. Uh, so let's clear that out here. Next, this is this is probably the most useful one I've found yet, and this is the test for command. This kind of applies to the other one, but it's more used within the um, than the confines of command blocks uh, and scoreboard. So this is test for at the closest player score underscore kills underscore minimum equal to one now you do have to have these brackets anywhere you saw that i had brackets you do have to have brackets so this is saying test for a player who scores or whose kills well this is score uh so that's referencing the scoreboard and kills this is the name of whatever the objective is so if i named it chinese fire drill like i said i would have to put chinese fire drill right there and then Minimum just means minimum. You can also do maximum. Uh, but I have to have at least one kill for this to be true. So see, if I hit this button, nothing's going to happen because I don't have any kills right now because you don't see it on my scoreboard. Now if I go over here, get some zombies in this little ch trench here. Kill them. Oh, oh, there we go. And if I run over here and I hit this here button, see, that becomes true because now I have more than one kill. So it powers this comparator, which powers this line, which hits this and opens the door. But now if I go over here and clear my score, hit this button again, it will close the door because I don't have enough kills for it anymore. Now this one, uh, this is kind of just a aesthetic thing, but this is backslash scoreboard teams option. <laughs> so this is basically all command in of itself before the options. And then red, so you have to reference the team color. So if I call this the... Rapinators. <laughs> uh, that would be what I had to put there, but I put red. So red is the team name, and then color, because you're like doing a command within this command. So I'm telling it to make the color of our text or our board red. So now if I hit this, it says set option color for team red to red. So let's grab some skellies. And it does not matter what mob you kill. One is not worth more than the other. Uh, as far as I know, I haven't seen that happen, so... Ooh, he got an enchanted bow. Wow, lucky. Alright, so now you see right up here, uh, Hester 45 kills, or Hester 45, 4. So my that's now in that color, and then if I type in chat, hello, my name is now in red. So you can kind of signify who's on what team, and all of that. And last but not least, to get rid of the scoreboard, you can do backslash scoreboard objectives remove. So this is all one thing. And then right here, kills. So I'm saying get rid of that kills objective. I don't want that anymore. Get rid of it. So if I do that, now that's that's not a thing anymore. So now if I, I go over here and kill as many mobs as I want, I'm not going to ever see a score up there. See? So I killed that skeleton. Nothing comes up. Uh, so that's pretty much a basic uh, way of how the command blocks work. Uh, I'd certainly be willing to do a, another video, go a little bit more in depth, do some cool things with these. Uh, but I do want to see that you guys give me some support. So if you did enjoy, learn something, something like that, be sure to give, leave the video a like, subscribe for more. Um, and yeah, like I said, if you want to see another command block video, I'd love to do them. I'm pretty good with them. So yeah, this has been the Mighty Green Giant. Bye! <laughs> 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 God damn it, where did you go, you little fucking bitch? <laughs> no! Okay. That was almost bad. Oh, holy shit. Keep smashing. How does your smashing. skeleton do so much damage?
Cause it's an awesome shovel. You're just jealous. You're just oh, jealous. you should have been dead, you dirty skank.